Welcome to round five of the BMX National Series here at Gosport. Looking forward to a great day's racing and of course the national championships as well today. Big thank you to the channel supporters, NX Teamwear, Crucial BMX, British Cycling and B73Ts. So let's go and find some people to have a chat with. Okay, we're here with uh, SJ, Sarah Jane Nichols, um, a rider, very, very good rider from the 1980s. Uh, I actually used to race your brother, weirdly, didn't I, That's Mike, right, yeah. Yeah, back in the day. Um, so SJ was, uh, was uh, in one year, uh, if I'm right in saying, was British champion, European champion and world champion in 1986. So, um, SJ, tell us about that. So, yeah, that was my best year, actually. I mean, that was the, the supreme of all the years. But, I mean, I raced from 1982. Um, during that time, from 82 to 87, I achieved, like, I think it was like six British titles, four European titles. And then I say, ultimately, 1986 was the year that I got the Brits, the European and the world. So that, to me, was an incredible achievement. Well, I think to everyone it was. And of course, you were on the front of all the magazines at the time. And, um, uh, and of course, racing hot, hot Shot and then ultimately Redline. Um, you know, I think they probably sold a lot of Redlines on the back of that. And of course, now you're back riding again. So tell us about that as well. Yeah, so I've been back riding. This is my first year back riding. Um, sort of got coaxed back into it. Uh, it was all a bit unexpected. However, um, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's really different. Obviously, it's really different from the 80s. A lot of things have changed. The tracks have changed. The bikes have changed. And it's been like learning a whole new sport in a way. Obviously, everyone can sort of like, if you can ride a bike, you can, you can sort of pedal. But actually, the, the concept, everything, the, the jumps, the start hills, the start gates, the the bikes everything is so different so it's been i found it i've enjoyed the, the challenge of actually learning the, the sport again as well as enjoying the competitiveness and the social side is amazing these days as well it's, it's great to be part of a team i'm part of andover bmx club and um they make me they made me feel very welcome from the start so big shout out to them <laughs> right, really nice one and in between yes 35 years or so um playing ice hockey as well so you went from again back in the day you know one jump on a straight and not a lot of padding uh, to wearing an awful lot of padding and now trying to wear as much padding as you can <laughs> riding a bike so how's that uh, that's right so yeah so for 35 years i played ice hockey um played at quite a high level um played for great britain i played for england during that time um it was really that covid put a bit of the end to the ice hockey um not being able to get on the ice and the limited numbers and things like that it was really awkward and then my age and everything but um yeah, now with the padding, yes, yeah, that is quite funny actually. But I said to you earlier, I've got a little bit of self padding going on as well. So <laughs> I feel like a Michelin man at the moment at times on my bike. <laughs> well, you're certainly going really fast, and it's great to see you back um, riding after all these years. There's a there's a few old school riders around uh, riding again now, and obviously a real inspiration to lots of people back then and now as well. So thanks very much, SJ. Uh, thank you too. Okay, here with, uh, here with Dina. Now, Dina is behind the camera uh, on the live stream with, uh, with Simon, um, but also behind the scenes, um, very much organising the British Championships, which are, I hate to say this, it's probably about eight weeks or seven yeah, weeks or something. You probably know. Yeah, we've got a countdown on the website. I've not looked recently, but it was around 50-something days last time I looked, <laughs> which, is, which is great. <laughs> not very long, um, but obviously, you know, you've done it before as a club, and I know you've been involved before. Obviously, there's a huge amount of work involved. How's it, how's it all shaping up? Yeah, it's looking good. It's, yeah, everything's coming, coming into focus. Yeah, we've got some new volunteers involved and they're really enjoying getting involved, I think. I hope they are anyway. Twisting arms for volunteers on the list, but that's always the case with BMX, I think. And, uh, well, obviously, you know, I know, but it's um, a huge amount of work, especially the British Champs and, you know, at Derby. As I say, you've hosted it before, but um, any, anything up your sleeves for this year? Anything different? Uh, no, we're looking at lots of different things. You just never know, do you? We've something, somebody gets a bright idea and we think, oh, that's a good idea. But, you know, we've got the campsites full and everybody's screaming for spaces, but we can't really squeeze any more in. So no matter what anybody thinks, unless they want to be pitching on top of each other, they're not going to be getting in. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's a big field and um, a fantastic event. And, of course, a lot of the older, some of the parents 
I used to go there in the in the 80s and early 90s as well for for the same event, which is fantastic. You know, it's a real memory thing for me. But um, yeah, anyway, we're looking forward to the Brits and of course the live uh, the live stream as well. How's that going from your perspective? Yeah, really enjoying it. It takes up all my day, but <laughs> that wasn't really the plan. But it's great. I love that BMX is getting out there, being seen by more people and all those grandmas and aunties and uncles can all watch it at home. It's great and it's always good for the sport. Yeah, and remember, you can only see it on our YouTube channel, the live stream. Anything else is not uh, is not uh, real, and um, of course, it's free as well. So yeah, check out check out the uh, the live stream uh, whenever you can. Cheers. Okay, lining up next, championship women: Emily Hutt, Evie Webster, Betsy Bax, Freya Chalice, Sienna Harvey, Tia Gaynor. Elsa Rendell Todd and your Olympic champion Bethany Shriver. Okay, it goes down. It's going to be one to watch. Shriver goes straight in the lead. Chalice is right in there with her. Great to see all these girls here today. And coming out, Bethany Shriver. Leading it out. Moving in there as well. 306. Emily Hunt goes in at two. Freya Chalice in there in three. Right now, the current Olympic champion goes through. Take the win, Emily Hunt in there in two. Freya Chalice, three. Okay, we're here with the championship women winner from today, uh, Beth Shriver. Beth, yep. how is it back on the UK scene? Yeah. You've been a bit busy in Europe. Yeah. Uh, how is it feeling being back here? Yeah, it's good. Like I said, I've been so busy this year. First national of the year for me, um, Euro champs next week. So yeah, just nice to show my face, see the British community and have a good time. And you're out of breath, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean the track and the wind today has been mental. So I just wanted to kind of stay rubber side down. So I did that so I can go home now with a bit of relief. So yeah. All right, well done and really good luck at the Euros yeah. next week and the Worlds in a month. Thank you very much. Yeah, it goes. Lining up on the gate. Carl Evans, Joel Clark, Paddy Sharrock, Josh Marnham, Kai White, Matt Hutt, Eddie Moore, and Ross Cullen. A final for Superclass Men. Silence, please. Attack, attack, attack! Trey White leads the pack. The Prince of Beckham out there. Oh, 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 oh. Ryder's going everywhere, only all right. Trey White leading it out, looking good. GT in the house. Oh, he's gone. Now that one goes. Now it went down, but uh, here he comes, coming round. He'll take the win. Got it clean. Kai White. Come down, one-hander over there. Bit of style for Miles, he'll take it. He'll take the win here today. Okay, here with Superclass Men, uh, winner today. Uh, back on the UK scene, been a bit busy in Europe and coming back from an injury. We talked I, to you at Platt yeah, Fields, didn't I we? I've been busy, to be honest. I've just been getting injured all season, so uh, after nine weeks of my first race back, um, yeah, see if I can. my shoulder can hold up for next week. That's why I raced this weekend. We've got Euro Champs next week, so um, yeah, see how it goes. Looking good, looking good, and the second half of that lap was uncontested, but the first half was a bit busy. Yeah, I made, uh, made a mistake, I made everyone crash, I believe. Um, but that's the way racing is, so I do apologise, but um, yeah, it's my fault and it's not my fault really, should have been in front, but yeah, sorry about that. Well, um, yeah. well it looked alright to me, and um, you know, good, hard racing like you say, but um, European champs next week? Yeah, I've got to defend my title, and... Um, yeah, see if I can do the double. I don't think it's been done in over 20 years, to be honest. But elite men class. So um, if I pull that off, then it'll give me good confidence for the Worlds. And yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. Nice one. Well, right. good luck in the next few weeks. All right, I know you've got a lot on. Thank you. I appreciate it. OK, time for the inside line with our commentators today. So we've got Lewis and Scott. Um, and the featured age groups are the, the female nines and junior men. Uh, so, Lewis, female nines, there's some really fast girls in there, hey? What, what's standing out to you? 
Well, it, it, it's a stacked age group, just like all of the others. Uh, I mean, there's Araya Rose Lee. It's her first season of Nationals. She's, she's currently sitting inside the top four in the age group. Uh, there's been Ella Lam and um, Maisie Egan that have been battling it out all season long for that one and two spots. Uh, it's been great to see them going at it, especially in sort of last turns. There was quite a few uh, moves uh, last time out at Manchester Outdoor. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a quality age group. Indeed, and real talent for the future as well. You look at all those girls' age groups um, from nines up, and there's some, well, and below that as well, there's some real talent coming through there. Obviously, hot on the heels of Freya and like Megan and, and the slightly older riders who aren't quite in that um, sort of, you know, 17 plus age group yet, I suppose. Um, and then, of course, junior men. So, Scott, um, you remember some of these when they were literally almost in nappies, but certainly in shorts, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it, and it's great for me to come here today and not be, a, not, I haven't seen too much racing first hand. But, you know, guys like Casey Markley, you know, uh, Charlie Roy. And it, I think the thing to point out, as we were discussing early, there's a lot of those kids in there that are actually younger than the junior men age group. So it, it, it bodes well for the future, all these guys. And a lot of them are now doing the European rounds and... Yeah, it's exciting to watch them. They are so quick. <laughs> and of course, at um, European level, they're having, I think, eights and sixteenths and goodness what, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing racing. So all across Europe, we've got this huge number of riders coming through, real high, high quality as well. I mean, the ones you mentioned, there's others as well. There's, yeah. there's Taylor and Harry yeah. and Ned. I mean, you know, that's yeah. just the top I five mean, or six. They've had so much success as amateurs. And because I think all that European and world racing, it bodes well, it, 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 you know, and it'll carry on. The more European racing they do at that level, is only going to make them better. It's like the old adage, you're only as good as the people you ride with. So, you know, get out of Europe, get out to the world championships, do what you can. Well, really exciting. We've got the Europeans next week in uh, Besançon, and then we've got the Worlds in, well, it's barely a month's time, isn't it? Just over a month's time, in, obviously in Glasgow. Obviously, check out the uh, track guide for the Worlds there in Glasgow. Well, thanks very much. That's, uh, that's definitely an inside line, uh, if ever I heard one. Wow, what a day's racing. That's round five, done and dusted. We've got the same recipe again tomorrow, including the wind, which you might be able to hear. It's gusty. It was quite a high level of wind, but gusty. But anyway, it's like a turbo down the second and fourth straight and like a wall in the first and third. The riders have coped really well with the conditions. The level has just been up another notch. It's been amazing racing all the way through from, from six and unders all the way through to that championship and, uh, and super class men at the end. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to tomorrow. We've got to say uh, thanks very much to the, uh, the channel sponsors, NX, NX Teamwear, uh, Crucial BMX, B73 and of course British Cycling. Uh, look out for details around the competition, remember, and uh, we will speak to you all again soon.